All you gotta do is find a post you like. I like this one, it's got Gronk, what a sexy man. Okay, the secret. Uh, the secret is that all these celebrities post pictures to their Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook pretty much daily, and so there's a huge amount of uh, photos available to you for free. Uh, all you have to do is go on to the various services and find the embed code. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into Twitter, and we're gonna grab uh, Tom Brady's Twitter handle. And then uh, all you gotta do is find a post you like. I like this one, it's got Gronk, what a sexy man. And then you just click embed the tweet. They will give you this code, copies, and then all you gotta do is paste it into your WordPress. Okay, Instagram's the exact same thing. So you just uh, type into Google, Instagram, Tom Brady. Uh, you'll find it. Then just grab a picture that you like. I like this one, Tom's looking good. Uh, click grab the embed code. Copy it, paste it on your website, you're good to go. This is now uh, gonna play real well uh, for all you Tom Brady fans out there. Okay, the next option is Giphy, and this is where you'll find cool gifts. The This is a little bit trickier with the legalities of it because it's a little bit less clear the source of the uh, image that you're using. So like, you know, some random guy could have ripped off, you know, The Simpsons and then put a GIF onto this website. If whoever owns The Simpsons gets upset about that, they could try to get it taken down. Now you're a little bit protected since you're betting more than likely the person who's gonna be found to be at fault if something were to happen would be the person who put it on Giphy. Uh, but I just thought I'd bring that up in case you're you know, super worried about something going wrong. Maybe you wanna avoid Giphy. Uh, but the process is pretty much the same. Find a GIF you like, you type in Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the best, we all know that, except for I don't really like Tom Brady. Uh, but you grab the embed code, copy it, slap it on your site, and boom, you've got a GIF uh, for the ages. Okay, so now we're getting into stock photo sites and uh, we're all kind of lucky right now because several years ago, Getty Images realized people were just stealing all of their photos. It costs a lot of money to sue people for piracy. Uh, and all these small bloggers that were stealing the photos didn't really have any money, so it didn't really make a ton of sense to just sue all of them. Uh, so instead what they did was they put them all out there with embed codes for free so that you can grab them. Uh, and this is pretty awesome. So let's head on over to Getty Images. If I search for Tom Brady, check it out. These are all a bunch of pretty cool examples of really high quality photos. Now, the problem you're gonna have with these is not all of them are gonna have embed codes. Uh, you basically have to click on them, and then if it has an embed code, it'll be underneath the image here. It'll let you grab it, you copy it, you paste it onto your website, you're good to go. Uh, now you got a really cool, professional looking Tom Brady image on your website. This is what everybody wants. And that's about it for as far as what I've got for free options. Uh, after this, we get into stock photo sites that are paid. Uh, these might be a better option depending on what you're trying to do. So a problem with embed codes is that sometimes they can slow down your load time because it loads all sorts of external JavaScripts from God knows where. Stock photo sites can also be cool because they might be licensed a little bit differently. So with embed codes, pretty much all you can do with them is slap them on your website. If you try to put them on like social media or something like that, you're gonna get it taken down. You don't have the you know rights to do that uh, with embed codes. But some of these stock photo sites, and you're gonna have to look into the terms for each of them, might give you more permissions than you otherwise would have gotten with an embed code. So on my blog, which I'll have a link for in the description, I've got a whole list of stock photo sites and kind of my thoughts on them. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna read the top couple uh, from the different price groups that I have, just to make it simpler. So, uh, the cheapest option that I like is Shutterstock. They've actually got a pretty good selection of photos and it costs, it's about $10 an image probably. Uh, the pricing on all these things is tricky uh, to get definitively, but you're looking at about 10 bucks an image. Unless you wanna go with their monthly plan, which is about $29 a month, which is pretty reasonable for a stock photo site with tons of celebrity images. Might be something you wanna look into.
Okay, now expensive stocks, stock photography sites. The good news is that uh, the one that I've got listed at the top is Getty Images, which is also the best free uh, way to do this. They're crazy expensive if you actually wanted to buy the photo and use it for more than just embedding on your website. Um, but the good news is that you don't have to buy the photo because you could just embed it on your website and that's all that matters. Okay, what not to do. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people think that they can just go to a website, right click on the image, click save as, slap it on their website, and they'll be good to go, and that is not a good idea. My main advice to you is that the embed options at your disposal are significantly better than most of the options you could get by stealing these images, and there's way less legal risk for you. So that's the way to go about it. Uh, definitely do not go onto someone else's website, save the image, and then paste it into your WordPress. That's how you get in trouble. Uh, I'm not saying you're 100% gonna get in trouble if you do that, like you're a small blogger probably, and it costs a lot of money to sue somebody, and they gotta prove damages probably, hashtag not a lawyer. Uh, but yeah, don't do that. Just take one of the free embed codes, slap it on your website. Uh, you can center it on the page and do minor things like that with some basic HTML knowledge. It, works pretty well. And then finally, are there any legal risks with embedding the images? And the answer to that has, for pretty much the entirety of this going on, has been a big fat no, there's zero legal liability. That is until uh, there was a case a few years ago where a guy took a Snapchat photo of Tom Brady, who, I mean, we all want photos of Tom Brady. Uh, so he posted it to a Snapchat, somebody screenshotted it, posted it to Twitter, it got shared to Twitter a million times, and then major news organizations started picking it up. And once these major news organizations started picking it up, the original creator of the photograph was like, dude, you stole my photo. Uh, that photo is worth a lot of money. And so he sued all of the major news organizations. Now, he didn't sue the individual Twitter users who initially stole the photo. And the major news organizations thought they were safe because they were embedding, embedding the photo from Twitter. Uh, so, you know, their case was that Twitter or the user who uploaded the photo to Twitter was at fault and not them. Uh, but the courts ruled that Vox and all these major media companies actually were at fault for taking uh, this photo without permission. The main takeaway with that uh, parable is that uh, you should uh, take images directly from the source. So, you know, if you're trying to get images of Tom Brady, take it from Tom Brady's Twitter and Tom Brady's Instagram and not, you know, random guy 888 uh, that you found that had a picture that he stole. Um, but that still should leave you with plenty of options to find good images for your blog. The final thing to know about this is these uh, images are all going to be editorial use only. So you need to be using these in like informational blog posts rather than product sales pages and stuff like that. Like you can't slap these photos on your mug and try to sell it to people. You can't use them on a mug's product page saying that Tom Brady endorses this product. Have you ever seen Friends? I think Joey got put on a billboard for like a herpes medication or something like that and he was upset. Which, you know, eh. And that's it guys, that's how you get celebrity photos on your blog for free. I hope this helped you out. If it did, like and subscribe. I've got pretty much no subscribers right now, so you know, you could be my first. Uh, and check out this video over here on how to set up Gmail on a custom domain for free. See you later.